What's going on guys? Josh with Accountability for All and today we are at the scene of a, uh, of a shooting victim. We're monitoring radio traffic here in Angleton, Texas and we hear that a male uh, party's injured, he's down. So we get to the scene, crime scene is set up, they're looking for shell casings and we then know that they're looking for a landing zone. They're setting up a landing zone here right behind me guys. At this point we assume that the injuries are critical because they set up an LZ. You'll check out in the footage, the helicopter coming down, and now they're transporting this guy from the ambulance that they brought down the street because the chopper couldn't land to where we are now. Okay, you'll see that there's multiple EMS vehicles on site. You got multiple fire trucks, several ambulances, EMS, and then there's the chopper right there. Those flashing lights are a landing zone. All right, make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and this is content you will only find with accountability for all. That's the chopper behind me, as you'll see in the video. Share, like, and subscribe. What's going on, guys? Josh with Accountability for All. You're going to see a lot of flashing lights. The reason you're seeing these flashing lights is because there was an active shooting. We were monitoring radio traffic here in Angleton, Texas, and we were able to, to find out that someone was shot. The suspect has not been apprehended, and it must be critical injuries because a med flight is en route. So we're going to maintain a safe distance. Right now, they're setting up a landing zone. That's why the cars are like this. And I can hear the chopper, guys. I can hear the chopper. So we'll maintain about 15 feet. Stay right here. Yes, sir. Okay, yep. sir. We'll stay back 15 feet, man. Huh? We'll stay back 15 feet for you, man. We're not here to interrupt you. All right, guys, so we can hear the helicopter coming in in the back, all right? All right, so if you're here, the helicopter's coming out from this direction. So like I said, we're, we're monitoring radio traffic. We hear that someone's down, they're a victim of a shooting. The suspect has not been apprehended yet, yep. but at some point they figure out that a med flight is en route. Yep. So when you're talking about a med flight, those are usually critical injuries. Now they're putting up the crime scene tape. I don't think I can zoom in on this. So you'll see the officers over there looking in the grass. What they're probably doing is looking for ejected shell casings. I didn't make a phone call, guys. So you can hear the chopper coming. It's about a 30 minute flight from what we're told. They're setting up the crime scene tape. All right, so we're headed down to the ambulance to get the med flight now, guys. So there was not enough room for a chopper to land. So we're going into where it can land more safely. And we gotta find a safe place to park now. Yeah. All right guys, so the scene we were just at, this is the landing zone. This is the LZ that they set up for this med flight. So you'll see they got the light strips down. They set up a safe landing zone for this chopper. Take a look. That might be the That's crime scene unit. Yep. Yep. So here we go guys, you'll see those lights right there? That's the LZ. This chopper should be here any minute to take this guy in. So it's probably gonna get really windy when the chopper comes down. Now, if you see way down there, those lights, that's going to be where the crime took place, right down there. 
We started this off showing crime scene tape. Obviously, they were looking for shell clippings. I mean, for, uh, for shells. Those lights that they set up are for the LZ. Now, we've maintained a very safe distance, so we're good right here. Sorry? Further back? I mean, we're not near anything, man. We're just, we're just, we're just journalists working on a story. We're press. We're press. We're press. We're press. We're not gonna. We're press. We're not gonna be here in your way at all. We're just monitoring everything. Okay. Well, we don't know who is who. Okay. Yeah, man. We mean you know, Will. Will. We understand that's an LZ. So you guys are gonna need room for the chopper. We're not gonna be interfering at all or speaking to anyone. We're just here to monitor the situation. And that's the indication that the chopper is probably inbound. So this gentleman here is from Angleton Fire and Rescue here in Texas. He was just letting us know to step back. I think the reason for that is, um, you know, number one, there was just a shooting. They don't know if this guy is still in the area. They want to maintain their safety. The other thing is they have an LZ here. So a chopper is going to be landing any second. It's going to get really noisy. All right. So they obviously have one person injured and they are dealing with that one person. They don't want to see another person injured with another person they have to look out for. And there's the chopper, guys. The chopper's coming in. That may not be an emergency chopper. That chopper may be to help find the suspect. We're going to let you know as it comes. He's just circling. Oh yeah, he's coming down. That's med flight, guys. Touchdown, guys. You always have to give a round of applause for our search and rescue. Wheel in the stretch out, guys. Let's hope this guy gets in safe and sound. This is exclusive content that you don't find anywhere else besides No Name Audits, Extra Good Citizen, and Accountability for All. This is the second time tonight we're first on the scene for a victim. You're gonna ask yourself why these guys aren't running. There's a gunshot victim, right? They have to remain calm. And they trip and fall, who's gonna save this guy? So now they're transpoing him from the ambulance right into the back of the chopper, guys.
got no name over there. There's the victim, guys. They're wheeling them. Alright guys, the victim is in the med flight now. He's in the med flight, he's secure. Back up, yeah, you got him, man. Remember to always thank the EMS guys, alright? These are the guys that, look at this, I mean, we were on the scene, it took them only minutes to set up a landing zone to extricate this victim today. Here in Angleton, Texas. They actually, like, you want to see how good these guys are? They created a landing zone at the Angleton Junior High School. The chopper's getting ready to take off now. They're clear. Hopefully this guy makes it to where he's going. Hey guys, thank you so much for what you do. Thank you for what you do, sir. Alright guys, and the scene is now clear. They're gonna disassemble this landing zone. This victim's on his way, and we're gonna wait, make our way back to the crime scene to give you more coverage.